you ever wander through the desolate forests of Vermontia, secluded in the heart of the wastelands, concealed from the curious eye, you will come upon the mysterious silhouette of Le Chateau. An oasis of civilization in the middle of the wilderness. A sanctuary of impenetrable and fascinating mystery. Le Chateau has fascinated those who have known it for centuries. It is utterly ravishing to me to investigate the unexplored clues that Le Chateau has to offer us. We are looking at the walls that have seen the dinosaurs, witnessed the rise of the anthropoid apes, survived the ravages of World War II, and made it through the regime of President McArdle. Over the centuries, Le Chateau never ceased to be the object of fierce and interminable disputes. From the prehistoric moments of the Stone Age until contemporary times, generations after generations fought and died for it. Over its possession have lost their lives illustrious kings and queens. At first we didn't have much luck. But after five months of excavation, we finally unearthed the clue that put us on the right track. The primitives were here. have always considered Chateau their rightful inheritance from their ancestors the Zohars. But their convictions were seriously scattered with the arrival of the nomadic Ziggurans on the Vermontian plain. The Ziggurans were well known for their barbarism and cruelty. They came to decimate the Buzidums and capture their modern cave system with electric light and internal heating. Later that night, the preparations for the fight began. The day of the fight was a cold November morning. The stakes were very high. They fought for three days and three nights, and for one night the Ziggurans captured the fortress. But in the end, the Buzzardums recaptured what was rightfully theirs. During the Middle Ages, Le Chateau knew one of its few times of peace and serenity. I believe you have had this weather, man. It's so fucking cold. Putain de merde, fucking weather. And now, Madame and Monsieur, the long awaited moment, His Majesty Le Roi. Honorable citizens of France, I hereby declare, under the eyes of the Almighty Dieu, que le château belongs neither to the Bouzidom, or to the Ottomans, or even to the Russians, but to la famille royale de la France. Get me out of the way! Asshole! The years passed. The babies grew. 
and the calm persisted. But that happiness was short-lived. The dark ten years of the Nazi occupation followed. Then Le Chateau was made into the headquarters of the first Vichy government. Did not How give up. How many men can you infiltrate in Sector 5? 5 or 6. Good. Take 7 men and sneak into the abandoned residence in Rue de la Fontaine. Christine? Hey, Fucking guards? Come again, you filthy French chaser! It took a lot of lives to win the fight for la liberté. But in the end, the French recaptured what was rightfully theirs. But it is thanks to the virtuous leadership of today's governance that Le Chateau became what it should have always been. A peaceful place for all. Civilized and proper, everyone is waiting for their turn. And today, Russians, French, Germans and Japanese all eat and talk together in reconciliation and blissful harmony. In the end, the people recaptured what was rightfully theirs.